Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make lootable AI using Smart AI inside of Survival Game Kit. Before following this video, you do need to make sure that you follow the Smart AI integration video for Survival Game Kit V2. I'll have that linked in the description. I'm going to be using Unreal Engine 5, but if you're using Unreal Engine 4, you can follow along with this video, no problems. So to get started, we're going to go to the Smart AI folder, Blueprints, AI, then AI Characters. Right click the master AI character and create a child blueprint class. And in here, we're going to call it BP underscore interaction AI character like that. And we'll open that up. I'm just going to bring that over to my other monitor. And in here, we're going to go to class settings, then to inherited interfaces, click add. And we're going to add the interaction SGK interaction interface and we'll compile. Next, we're going to go to the components and add a master inventory component like that, and we'll compile again. Then we're going to go down to the interfaces tab, then to interaction and start at allow interaction. Now we only want it to allow interaction once our AI is dead. So we're going to grab the AI component from the components panel, drag out and do get dead. And we'll plug that into the allow interaction output. Then we'll go to possible actions, tick on actions found, drag out from possible actions and use the make array node. Then from that, we'll drag out and do make. And here is where we set the name of the action that our players will see when they look at the dead body. So I'm gonna set this to interact and then the action name, I'm just gonna put as loot, but you can set this to whatever you like. Then we're gonna to go to interaction name and here, this is what the player will see when they look at the dead body in game. So you can set this to what you want. I'm just gonna put dead body. And then we're gonna to go to interact and um, we'll drag out from player inventory and we're going to search for server EXTINV and we'll add that node. And we'll just plug that in like this and make sure we tick the return value. And we'll grab the master inventory variable from our components and plug that into the IMV input there and we'll just compile. Then we're going to go to the end interaction function and we're going to drag out from player inventory and do uh, remove using player. And we're going to disconnect that from target and plug player inventory into player IMV. And we'll connect this node up. And then we're going to grab the master inventory from the components panel again, plug that into target, and we'll take the return value as well and compile. Then we'll just save this and we'll go back to our content browser. Then we're going to go to the Smart AI folder, Blueprints, and we're going to find the AI interface. We'll just open that up. We're going to add a new function, and this will be called AI. AI respawned and a second one called AI despawned like that. We'll compile and save that and you might have to recompile after saving so I'll just compile again and then we'll go back to our interaction AI character then go to the event graph and we're going to right click and search for event AI respawned like that. We'll grab our master inventory and from there, we're going to do construct slots, plug that in here. Then from master inventory again, we want to search for add starting items, plug that in here uh, like that. And then lastly, we'll drag out and do spawn items and we'll plug that into the end as well like that. Then we're going to right click and do event uh, despawn. So event AI despawn and first we'll compile. Then we'll drag out from the master inventory again and do get using players. Then drag out and do get. And from that, we want to do client close inventory. And we'll delete the get node and plug the target straight into using players like that. And just plug that into our AID spawned. Then we'll compile and save this. Next, we're going to go to the AI component. So we'll go to smart AI, blueprints, AI components, then the smart AI component, we'll just open that up. And I'm just gonna close these other tabs. So I'll just right click and do close other tabs. We're gonna to go to the event graph and we're gonna find the def slash respawn events. And down here at the bottom, we're going to get the AI character. So we can just copy one of these, paste it here. And from that, we're gonna drag out and we're gonna search for AI respawned. Respawned, like that. We'll use a message node and we'll just plug that in here like that. 
And then we're going to move up to the top here by multicast the spawn body. And we're going to do an if node. And from that, we'll drag out and do an and node from the condition. And we'll do is, is, is server. Plug that in. And then we want is standalone. And we'll plug that in as well. Connect this up to the event. Then we'll get, we can just copy one of these AI character variables and paste that up here. We'll drag out from there and we'll do AI despawned. And we'll call that. Plug that in here. If false, we'll just run the set actor hidden in the game. And then if true, we'll connect this up to that same node. So it should look like this. So we'll compile and save this. Next, we're just gonna copy a couple of nodes from down here. So we'll just highlight these and copy them, paste them here. And we're gonna delete this dead AI mesh collision and we'll drag out. We wanna search for capsule, so search cap and you'll find get dead AI capsule collision. And we'll just connect this up to set simulate physics and this end to the branch node. And then we'll compile and save this. So now everything's pretty much set up. We just need to set our zombie to use our new interaction AI character and that will allow it to be looted once it's dead. So we'll go to our zombie. So we'll go smart AI, blueprints, AI, AI characters, examples, and then zombie. And we'll open our zombie up. And we're just gonna do open full blueprint editor. And in here, we'll go to class defaults or class settings, sorry. And in uh, the options here, we've got parent class. We're just gonna change this to our interaction AI character. And once we do that, you can see that we've now got our master inventory here in the components. And we can use this to set our dead AI's inventory. So if we head over here, we can go to inventory details. We wanna tick on contains items. Here is where we set the UI name that's displayed when we open up the inventory. So I'm just gonna set mine to uh, dead body, but you can set yours however you like. We've got all of the other settings like weight and things like that. If you wanna know more about these settings, there's information in the documentation. We can also turn on random item spawning. So if we search for random, uh, random, you can see we've got all of our random item spawning settings here. Again, if you wanna find out more about these settings, there's separate documentation for that. But if we just turn these on um, so we can check it out when we play in game, um, I've got it set so it'll just span, uh, spawn any items and we can compile this and we can go and test this out now. Now there is one other setting you might wanna change and that's how long the AI's dead body takes to despawn. To change that, just go to the AI component here, search for dead, and you'll find the dead despawn time. Currently it's set to seven seconds, but you can change it to whatever you like. I'm gonna set mine to 500, for example. So now we can test this out in game. You can see I've already got a zombie at my level, but if you don't, you can just drag one in. So I'll hit play and I'll give it a second to load. I'm gonna run over, you can see my zombie's running around. He's actually trying to kill me and he's blocking my view to the weapon. So we'll grab a weapon and a backpack. I'm just gonna load this quickly so we can kill him. Oh, and we'll reload. Don't mind the effects not working, it's still compiling shaders. But you can see when we look at the dead body, we've got our option here, I can loot him. You can see he's got some random items on him that I can grab and I can put into my inventory as you'd expect and it's all working. And when our AI's body does despawn, um, it will respawn those items if our AI does respawn. Now right now, the only AI that we've set up to have an inventory is our zombie. But if you did want to add it to say the deer or a civilian, all you'd have to do is do what we just did to the zombie. So I can give you another example. We'll go to civilians, AI civilian. You can see we just open up full blueprint editor, go to class settings, change the parent class here to interaction AI character. Once we do that and we compile, you can see we've got our master inventory here. We've got all those same settings we just changed. And again, if you want to set up some random item spawning, you can set those here. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys find it useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment.